video, I will focus on the settings that are specific to the Modbus Ethernet. For the basic channel and device setup, I recommend watching our quick start video as a reference. Name your channel and click Next. Now pick the device driver. I selected the Modbus TCP IP Ethernet. Then click Next. The next window is Network Interface. Pick your network, then click Next to continue. If you have more than one network card, it is important to choose the correct one. The next window is the right optimization mode. Complete these settings, then click Next. This parameter specifies share single socket across all devices on this channel or use one or more sockets per device on this channel. Users must then enter a number in the max sockets per device field. The Modbus TCP IP Ethernet driver will often use a Windows socket for each device on the network and maintain that socket as an active connection. Because the driver does not need to re-establish a connection each time it needs to read or write data to a given device, this provides a high level of performance. The next window is the Summary window. Make sure to review this for accuracy before clicking Finish. Now click to add a new device. Name the device before clicking Next, then select a device model. If your device model is not listed, always choose Modbus. Click Next to continue. The next window is the device ID. This is also referred to as a network ID or IP address. Fill in the device ID, then click Next. Configure the timing, and then click Next. Auto to motion is the next screen. These settings are used to take a device out of the polling cycle if it goes offline. After creating the desirable settings, click Next to continue. Now you have the option to create a tag database. The three fields are Startup, Action, and Add to Group. Startup allows you to select when a database is created, if at all. Action pertains to the previous tags and how they should change with the new tag database. You can create a group to add tags into. Once you have configured the database settings, click Next to continue. Note that not all Modbus devices support this setting. This parameter specifies whether the driver should connect to the remote device using the user datagram protocol or transfer control protocol. The master and slave settings must match. Once configured, click Next to continue. This window has the data access to settings. 0 versus 1 based addressing is if the address numbering convention starts at 1 instead of 0. 0 based bit addressing within registers provides two ways of addressing a bit with a given word, 0 based and 1 based. Check the next box, the device supports holding register bit access. The Modbus function 06 selection is checked by default, allowing the driver to switch between 06 and 16 as needed. If a device requires all writes to be done using only Modbus function 16, uncheck this section. The Use Modbus Function 05 selection is checked by default, this allowing the driver to switch between 05 and 15 as needed. If a device requires all writes to be done using only Modbus Function 15, uncheck the selection. The byte order used by the Modbus Plus driver can be changed from the default Modbus byte ordering to Intel byte ordering using, using this selection. Two consecutive registers address in a Modbus device are used for 32-bit data types. Four consecutive registers addresses in a Modbus device are used for 64-bit data types. When use mod con bit ordering is checked, the driver will reverse the bit order on reads and writes to registers to follow the convention of the Modicon Microsoft programming software. This option is disabled by default. You can set the maximum number of registers that allow the driver will request in a single transaction with the device. Perform block read on strings. Check this option to block read string tags, which are normally read individually. Click Next to continue. This parameter specifies the exact location of the concept or pro works variable import file the driver should use when automatic tag database generation is enabled for this device. This setting is not applicable for all Modbus devices. Check the display descriptions box in order to use imported tag descriptions. Click Next to continue. When checked, the deactivate tags and illegal addresses exception parameter instructs the driver to stop pulling for a block of data if the device returns Modbus exception code 2 or 3. 
review the summary before clicking Finish. Now click on Create a new static tag. Give the tag a name, specify the address. The check icon is there to validate the address. Configure the data properties, then click OK. At the top of the screen, click on Runtime, then Connect. Then on the far right, click on the Quick Client icon. Click on the group that shows your channel and device. Right click on one of the tags you created and click on Synchronous Write, then input a write to the tag. Click OK and verify that it connected with the Modbus device. That concludes the Modbus tutorial. If you have any further questions, please visit softwaretoolbox.com.